Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. Hey, you probably saw either on the news or out on social media or somewhere in your travels that we are currently in uh, Rosh Hashanah on the Hebrew calendar and that will all conclude on Yom Kippur. And you might be wondering, well, what are those holidays? What, what are they? Uh, Rosh Hashanah is the Hebrew New Year, right? It's Hebrew New Year, celebrated a little bit differently than how we do here in America. Uh, a lot of Hebrew customs and holidays revolve around food, uh, either eating it or fasting from it. And then in a few more days, it'll be Yom Kippur, and that is the Hebrew Day of atonement and maybe you've seen pictures of like rabbis blowing through like shofar horns you know the big ram's horn and that would signify the end of yom kippur be the end of that holiday festival and really what uh the whole celebration is about is about thinking about the past year right and how you've been in your relationship with god and then thinking about the year ahead and thinking about like recommitting yourself, rededicating yourself. And then Yom Kippur is the day of atonement. Now atonement's a big word, uh, but atonement's a word we use in uh, Christian churches as well. Atonement, you can break it down into its like syllables is, as at one meant, at one meant. It, it, is, it is your time to draw closer to God and to be at one with God, together with God. And the idea is that throughout the year, You've sinned, you've walked away, you've been separated, and then the, the high priest would make a sacrifice. There'd be two goats that'd be brought out during Yom Kippur. Uh, one goat, all the sin, all the sin of the nation was thrust upon this goat symbolically. And then that goat was killed as a symbolic action to say that the sins of the people are now dead, that your sins were atoned for. And you would watch this Every single year, you would watch the priest kill this goat, that blood would be shed for your sins. And then there was a second goat, the Azazel. The Azazel had a red ribbon tied around it. And then this goat, the symbol behind it was that all the sins of that year were now cast upon that goat and the goat was banished. The goat was sent off into the desert. Your sins were being driven away as far as they could be. Your sins were, were going away from you as far as the east is from the west. And you might think, well, those are, those are really beautiful observances. How come Christians don't observe Rosh Hashanah or Yom Kippur? How come we don't have a day of atonement? It's a good question. Uh, it's because Christians have the cross. Christians have the cross. And uh, our belief is that Jesus was the last sacrifice, that his blood was the last blood that needed to be shed. He was more perfect than lambs. He was more perfect than goats. His blood was completely perfect and he resolved all the conflict between God and humanity. And now we live in atonement every single day because of Jesus's last offering. And now our sin is as far removed from God as the East is from the West. The Bible says that God sees us as pure white. That's what we want to talk about this Sunday at Walden Church. We want to talk about the doctrine of the cross. Talk about the doctrine of the cross and why Jesus came and why he had to die and why uh, Christians maybe wear the cross as a symbol of this relationship that we now have with God. It's going to be a great conversation. Uh, we have two opportunities for worship. We have a 930 service, and that is our more traditional service. We sing hymns, we have a choir, and then our 11 o'clock service is our more contemporary service. We have a worship team, and we have a full children's program from birth all the way through high school. Hey, we want to be your local church. I'll see you Sunday.